Tonight, a 21-year-old man has admitted to authorities that he decapitated his wife. The disturbing murder happening yesterday near Magnolia. The woman's body was found inside a home on Oak Hollow Boulevard. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf is in Waller County tonight, where the community is mourning. Matt. There's a growing memorial tonight outside of Chepe's where this victim worked. Tonight you can see the flowers, the teddy bears, the candles. This woman loved in this community. New mysterious surveillance video only adding to the disturbing murder investigation in Waller County. James Dykus seen here stealing a beer from where his wife worked only minutes after authorities believe he decapitated her with a kitchen knife. Everything happened on the property and all parts and pieces were recovered and submitted for evidence. Friends and family holding a vigil Thursday night for the victim, 21-year-old Angie Diaz from Nicaragua. <laughs> Described as a hardworking, smart woman who loved to laugh. Truthfully, I think everyone loved her here at the store. Not just us here at the store, but all the customers. She was good friends with most of the clients. Angie worked at Chepe's for about three years, loved by her co-workers. We worked together on Monday. We were laughing. We would laugh about almost anything. 21-year-old James Dykus already confessing to the brutal killing. He and Angie just married less than three months ago. The father of the suspect made the initial call to dispatch. It's a gruesome scene at best. Flowers, pictures, and stuffed animals piling up near the crime scene on Oak Hollow. A shocked community now coming together, heartbroken. Just absolute horror. Uh, very scary, very sad. It's a small town. Everybody kind of crosses paths at one point or another. Angie was a sweet girl. Family and friends holding a memorial on Saturday for the victim. Also, if you'd like to help the family, I have a link up right now on my Facebook page. Reporting in Waller County, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.